Hey, love folks, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. For, uh, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the support. Um, being able to know that we get, you know, signs every day, synchronicities every day to guide us to where we need to be or learn more things about of our, ourselves that we need to bring towards the surface or just being able to you know part ways with is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you uh have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be able to uh know when i'm about to upload my my uploading my next upcoming videos and uh, if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the videos is very informative to you or even gives you good vibes that you would love to share with the loved one, family, or friend, uh, or a fellow empath that are going through trying times that need to know about their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media if every time you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, oh, let me turn it up a little bit because this one's a little bit more silent a little bit um it's called all seven chakra healing music release emotional pain higher vibration music and i will post that link in the description box below i mean this is very peaceful too i love those i've been picking really good ones lately i, I know i've been sharing them with some of my love bugs i connect with on messenger and they you know they're like oh rosalyn these are really peaceful thanks for telling me showing um sharing with me so i do but my video today is about twin flame 101 hey okas Universe places us in certain situations not for us to change, but for it to change us. And it's true because a lot of times, you know, I, I, I can really definitely relate to that. Uh, you, it's just like certain situations we are placed in to allow us to know what is being said. What is there that you need to learn about the situation? What is it trying to help you understand about yourself or even your surroundings? Um, I always look at my situation, you know, as, I mean, even though it's just like, especially in heated times where you can get mad about certain things, I have to always try to calm myself down and say, you know, this situation is allowing you to know and grow <laughs> and teach you with lessons and blessings. And it's true. You know, we can go through stressful situations. We are so desperately ready to end that chapter towards, but it's hard to end that chapter if you're not fully getting the gist of everything the universe is trying to teach you throughout the stressful situations. Because, you know, you're praying upon and um, working towards things, to, you know, that to you know advance yourself or get better income or whatever you're aiming towards you really are truly working hard for that but it's just like sometimes you know we can be stuck like if you're ready to move out of state and you know everything that you're doing is hard for you to move out of state it was like everything all your resources are just cut off or blocked because the universe is allowing you to say you know what you can't move to the next chapter until you figure out what this chapter is being you know uh spoke on what what is this you know situation trying to teach you you know my situation has taught me a lot you know forgiving uh patience because it's just like me i usually if i have something that is too frustrating or you know i keep hitting brick walls i used to just walk away i said i give up i'm so sick and tired of this you know I, I i worked hard i work hard i did this i did that and did this and stuff still not changing um, even when I was able to see the signs that it was for me, I still walked away. So it was just like, you have to, you know, the decisions you make, you know, a lot of times we, you know, sometimes we put blame on other people. Um, I know I have before, you know, I blame 
certain people about certain things that happened in my life but I also had to blame myself as well because it was decisions I truly made you know those were the things that I felt comfortable at that time and it's just a lot of times we have been put in uncomfortable situations it's just like I tell anybody I know if you've been with me for a while and you see you heard me say you know you have to be comfortable getting uncomfortable because just a matter of change just for you going through spiritual awakenings and stuff like that as soon as I said that my phone lit, <laughs> my phone lit up when I said that um, uh, we have to get un we have to get uncomfortable. Uh, change was never easy. Nobody said our our journey was ever going to be easy. There's going to be days where we have minor setbacks. We're gonna there's going to be days where we doubt ourselves as well as the universe. There'll be days that we don't have faith within ourselves and, and, or the universe or whatever. Be angry at the universe. Like why do I have to constantly deal with things like this? And I mean it can be very aggravating when you have people that place things upon you. They make time hard for you. You know they they want to hit below the belt on purpose, especially if you're dealing with narcissistic people and um you have to be able to look past that you know my situation is allowing me to see things for what they truly are you have to be able to heal you know people see things that you're having conflict with seeing the growth within you seeing the strength within you and so they're gonna try anything any means or whatever to hold you back you can't allow those things to happen regardless of what people try to throw in your face or do towards you you know a lot of people see strength in you that they don't want you to go especially if they know where you're heading they will cut you you know cut you so many ways and try to throw salt in your program and you know things like that all the time but you know a lot of times I had to be able to really see what was the smoke screen what was supposed to be said to me you know allow myself to let go of things that has really messed me up in a mental emotional um sexual any anything any kind of you know mental block or mental situation that has been you know allowing you to hinder yourself you know um we've been we sometimes it's like those situations they'll you know universal guide you towards things like look this is a situation you need to come to close with these are the things you need to part ways with these are the things that you really have to step back and truly look look at what we're trying to teach you my situation is gonna taught me faith patience letting go healing uh parting ways you know sometimes you you want to seek closure or you're trying to explain to people why you're walking away a lot of times we have to be able to just close that book without having to give uh an entitlement to why i'm walking out your life because it's just at that point especially if you're dealing with another empath and they already know you about to walk away you know there's a lot of times that i you know i'm connected with empaths that i had to truly walk away from because their situation was bringing me you know uh low frequency it was bringing me drama you know i'm constantly arguing i gotta you know i'm not i have to be careful what i say around you you know i shouldn't have to be worried about what i say around somebody if i consider you uh a confident or uh or a friend whatever whatever have you so it's just a lot of times we have to go through things it's like whatever we know we lack of we get placed in situations where it's hard you have to be able to use discernment to know like okay what is this situation trying to teach me what are the things you know you have to usually write down pros and cons what are the things in your life you're truly trying to heal from what are the things that you're truly trying to come to terms with all these different things you have to be able to ask yourself you know am i doing the highest good you know even though am i doing what i need to do or am i doing my best you know you got to be able to give your all and everything because best sometimes is not even good enough you know you can just do your best and just like da, 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 da. okay i'm walking away i tried though you know that's not gonna count so a lot of times you have to be stuck in certain situations and it can be very painful you know but there's a lot of times we you know i just said in my first video you have to be able to trust the process you have to go through those times where your knees get dirty you get knocked down you you get that you know get legs swept in and you know fall all these things you have to go through to be able to trust the process that's going to take you somewhere you know i look at all the stuff that i've been through and i mean sometimes it can really make me you know surprised at the things that i've endured the things that i thought i would never get over there's a lot of times we go through painful situations where we feel like we'll never heal from but you have to be able to take that daily process within yourself and tell you you know things are going to get better even when i don't really see 
where my road is taking me. I have to have that faith within myself that better days are coming for me. You know, you know you're coming close to things in your life. You're coming to closure because there's a lot of people who start coming back in your life from your past. You know, some people that you know, you know, you walked away from. Sometimes it could be a very toxic situation because the devil's bringing them so they can intervene back on your, you know, throw you off track or put a speed bump in your, you know, put put a speed bump into your path so they'll slow you down um, or try to steer you off or distract you. You know, uh, some people come back into your life um, just for you to be able to seek closure. There's many people I've connected with. Some of them I'm just like, shoot, I ain't even give you no introduction. I'm going to just not answer the phone or I'm just going to block you. You know, there's a lot of times I've done that, you know, where... I, you know, I had to be cordial, I, you know, and I'll tell them, oh, I'm doing good, which I really am, you know, don't allow, you know, I, I had to be able to watch, if I had to know that the reason why we ended on certain situations, um, because you prayed upon things that you, you prayed that I didn't get, or you see things that was, you know, where I was telling you was really true, so, you know, uh, you nobody couldn't do better than you i've had people like that in my life where they they got upset because things that was offered in my life i was the only person you can't get mad at me what is for me that's one thing you can't do you have to be if you want to get mad at anybody you have to do god for that because god picked me for this journey and a lot of times people are not going to understand your journey it's only for you to understand you know if it's meant for that person to know they'll know if not Oh, well, you know, you got to still keep doing what you need to do. But I had to look at a lot of situations where I'm proud of myself because there's a lot of people I don't damn near cussed out because the fact is I know they did me grimy. I mean, there was gutter butt trollop type grimy, you know, and I'm, I don't went off like, how dare you? You knew what you did in my life and your life is better. So you want to smear it in my face and then come back and try to make sure I still don't get my stuff, even though you got yours, but it's not, you know, where it's cracked up to be or whatever. And so I had to, you know, cut cords with folks like that. Or I seen people that were intimidated by how I carried myself. You know, they, they hit me up and want to do, you know, do short talk. And I said, with you knowing I'm an empath, you already know I can't stand no short talk. Just for you to be able to, I'm like, oh, God, they're trying to start a conversation. I'm like, man, if this is how you're going to start a conversation, they already know it ain't going to work well. And, you know, be polite about it and going about my business. Like, oh, you know, somebody will send me something just to get my, you know, reaction off of that. I'm like, oh, thank you for sharing. You know, if we good, you know, if we good on good terms, you ain't got to worry about that, you know, trying to throw in something that you know I'm going to have a remark to or whatever just to see how my reaction is going to be. You know, and I can still be polite and say thank you for sharing and going about my business. You know, other people that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm entitled to or what do you, you know, whatever universe wants to think about it, you know, we're, we're connected for a reason. Or a lot of times they place people in our lives to see are we gonna run back to somebody just because we don't we don't want to be by ourselves and we stuck by ourselves. When you're by yourself and people are all cut out of your life, that's the time for you to be able to get to know yourself on all levels, on all differences. Be able to love yourself within the light, within the dark. You have to embrace both. And then you got to be able to accept whatever needs to be accepted about you that, you know, because a lot of times we run from certain things that's in our life that it fears the heck out of us because we don't understand it. You have to be able to embrace everything about yourself. You have to love yourself beyond all measures. Yes, nobody likes sitting up here being alone, but I'd rather be alone than be with somebody. I have to wonder where I fit in the equation of their life. I'd rather be by myself. I ain't got time. And so whenever, you know, the universe is allowing you to see things for what they truly are, you know, sometimes they want us to change a certain situation, but five, nine times out of 10, they allow us to be stuck in certain situations for it to be able to change us for the better. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, I'm too relaxed and, you know, my body's been really sore because I've been working out a lot lately. So I said, I took me some medicine because my, my body done stiffed up and it's hard. You know, I sound old. I ain't no, my mom said, like before, she said, I ain't no spring chicken. So I had to sit up here and take me a, a nice hot shower and, you know, take me some medicine just to loosen up my uh, muscles. But, you know, uh, I'm giving my post notification shout out to, let me see. Uh, let me see, I messed up. Mess my page up. Um, I'm giving a post notification shout out to Miguel uh, Hurtado and uh, Sammy Mackey 
much love to you as well as rich crackers so i will see you on my next video send out as much love and light as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days so please drop me a line um i would love the chance to uh get your feedback about it and i would be gladly want to go ahead and give you a post notification shout out as well but i hope you have a blessed safe week um send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can so you know you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way but i will see you on my next video much love to you peace